Miss Queen Row here, where I am always ready to empower, enlighten, and entertain you with real life stories. Uh, that is always about life, career development, and travel. Speaking of travel, yep, as you can see, I'm in a car. Where am I going? Well, it's a holiday weekend and uh, I'm headed on a road trip. <laughs> that was my neighbor. I'm headed on a road trip down to uh, close to the beach, my hometown of eastern part of North Carolina. And yeah, I am uh, me and the Moody. Hey Moody, say hey Moody. Hey Moody. We're going, she's always so nervous. Oh, you know what? If anybody has any tips, uh, any, can you guys comment on how to travel with a non-nervous dog? No matter how I travel, when I travel, she's always shaking and everything. We eventually within the road trip, she'll calm down. But at first she's like really nervous. So if anybody can comment and tell me how I can get Sherry Olivia over that, that would be grateful. But anyway, yeah, traveling back to my hometown for the for the a long holiday weekend. Now, it's supposed to be a surprise to Reagan because that's where she is now with my parents. So we'll see. Usually somebody in my family spills the beans all the time and it's not a surprise, but we'll see. But wanted to tell you, I'm about to get on that road now and uh, please pray for me, safe travels. Thank you. made it home to good old country yeah i had to move out but uh this is good Happy to see you, Mommy. Mm -hmm. And sure, Olivia, here, grab her. Your shirt matches the bag. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hey, Bradley. You want to see the phone? <laughs> recording. <laughs> recording the phone. <laughs> hey, Ma. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Royals. We are back. Look who I have with me. Who is it? It's Reagan. Reagan. Were you surprised that I made it home? Mm -hmm. How happy are you? One million percent. One million percent. Great. All right. As you Was can see. traffic? Mm, yeah. I had a little bit of traffic, a little bit of rain, but with God's protection and angels, I made it here safely. Good. Thank you. All right. We're about to go to bed. As you can see, hair looking, both of our hairs looking like a certain kind of way, but, uh, we're about to call it a night. It's been a long day for me driving and hanging out with the little one, but glad to be here. So we shall catch up later. All right, so we're out here shopping and we wanted to come out to see if some of the stores are open. We just came out of New York and Company and yes, here in Wilmington, the stores are open. Most of them are open. So yeah, Reagan is following, so. Going, going to follow her. Sister went into GameStop, so waiting on her. Thought we would show some footage. People out here shopping, and here in North Carolina, we do have to have our mask on. And yes, people are wearing masks. And woohoo! Mask on and everything. <laughs> Who's down there? Hi. <laughs> you gotta start talking, girl. Oh, uh, we out here shopping for gifts. There's my mom in the background. Where'd she go? She went over there somewhere. Okay. Royals, what you think? Ooh, that's cute. That matches, right? Yep, it does. Yay. Mom, say hey. Hi. Found a winner. 
Yeah, okay. that's cute. I'm done. See how quick? We ain't got to mm-hmm. be in the shoe store long, ladies. Yep. Get what you need to get. It's been a minute since we've been shopping, so we out here. And now we're about to go get something to eat soon. Hey, Royals. This is day two of our holiday trip. We are out here shopping, and let's we're about to go eat. So, hey, Mommy, let's go eat. Let's go. We are now day three of our 4th of July holiday weekend here in Wilmington, North Carolina. I decided to do a, uh, what's Miss Queen Rose favorite places to go while in Wilmington, even though this is my hometown, there's still some cute places to go that I like to come when I come visit. So if you would like to come visit Wilmington, North Carolina, come along with me and uh, I'll take you to a few places. But let me start off with a tip. So I just found out on a holiday weekend, you don't have to pay for parking. See, at the here, let's see if you can read it here. I don't know if you can or not, but it says Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. You usually have to pay $1.50 an hour. However, when meters are exempt on Sundays and holidays, so just found that out. All right, so we got the little one here, the little one and the fur baby. Got anything you wanna say? Hey, so we are about to walk downtown. This is actually place number one I like to go. I'm a historic buff, so anytime I can do any type of tour or uh, museum look over, Wilmington is very historic. Now there's some not good things that you probably heard about Wilmington, North Carolina, and it's all true. However, overall, it's really nice. Um, when I, and I mean not so good maybe from a cultural standpoint, but for the most part, Wilmington is very nice. Um, if you are retired or on the other side of the spectrum, if you are like at a college town, you would like to know, like to live here. But for me, I like to go downtown and just look at the waterfront and that's where we're about to go right now. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. As you can see, downtown is still very empty. There are still a lot of stores that are closed due to COVID, but there's people out here, some wearing masks, some wearing not wearing masks. So those of you who are like history buffs like me or like to look at different kinds of houses, I just like to look at houses. Wilmington has a plethora of like plantation houses. Not that I really like plantation houses because of what it represents, but they are a piece of history and I kind of do like it. For instance, here is one uh, that was owned by, I guess, Henry Bacon or something like that, possibly. But these have been historic houses that have been uh, kept up to date or brought up to date, I should say. If you're interested in a bed and breakfast, here's an ex example of a bed and breakfast. Oh, let me show you this church. Wilmington also has like great churches that you can fellowship.
now heading back. We are done at Brit's Donut Shop and we stopped to get ice, to get ice cream, obviously. But as you can see, this is why I can't bring Sherry Olivia anywhere because she is spoiled and she does not like to walk. So we don't walk very far with her. It's hot. We're about to head back, probably home, and uh, we'll come back out the next day and do some more favorite places for Miss Queen Row. See ya. All right, what's up, Royals? We are at day four of our my travel vlog here. We got my sister over hey, here, Royals. and we got. Let me just get a close up of the crabs, of the crab legs. There's Nana, Nana Wave, Josiah, <laughs> Christian Lee. Hey, hey what's up? Special <laughs> day over there, Mom, Auntie hey. Lori. Right. Where's Dad? Where's your Dad? Reagan, Reagan. Hey. What you gonna say? Hey. Hey Royals, and then where's the cook? The cook is not the in. Chef. This where's, is, the where's the chef? chef? Get a close up of the of the. These are veggies. Yep, of the veggies. Chef. So we are enjoying our Fourth of July weekend holiday meal made by Chef Mike Hansen, who's not in the video right now, but we'll get him later. We thank you for this miracle because it's not often that family gets together. And we know this was nothing less than a miracle. We thank you for family being together and we thank you for this 4th of July holiday. We thank you for the Hanson's uh, household that this is being held. We thank you for the cook, Michael Hanson. We thank you for all that has been done. We thank you for the peace, love, and joy. And we ask that you would sanctify the food and make it fit for our bodies. Again, we love you for this miracle for family. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hi, Royals. This next segment, I'm going to apologize early because I just learned that there is no sound. We did all that footage downtown, and unfortunately, there is no sound. So apparently, either my mic turned off or maybe I just never turned it back on. Hey, it's been a long day. We got to do what we got to do. So I'm apologizing early. Please use your imagination for this next segment. Peace. Peace.
but I really hope we've come to the end of the holiday weekend. How was yours, Reagan? It was awesome. It was awesome. Great. Mine was good as well. Had a good time with family. Had a good time exploring downtown Wilmington, a little bit of Carolina Beach. Had a good time with the Mother Daughter Day. Mother Daughter Day today as well. All right. And, uh, well, Reagan is going to stick around with the parents. Enjoy the rest of her summer. Her cousin's coming. Um, and me, I'm heading back. So, you gonna miss me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll miss you too. So, I'll see you. I don't want you to go, but I do want you to go. So, that, I don't want you to go because I want you to stay with me, Siri. But I do want you to go so you can edit the vlog. You're right. Look, y'all gonna say bye to Sherry? Fur baby. Here's a fur baby. Say bye, cutie. Say bye. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. How are we gonna end it? Here, I'm Kenny, and this is me. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you made it to the end, you need to go ahead and subscribe. Just join us. And like and comment. Please do. Comment on how you enjoyed this vlog. And then comment what you liked about Wilmington, North Carolina. And if you've been here before, comment on what places, other places to go. Because I'm going to need some new places to go when I come home and visit. Carolina Beach. Besides Carolina Beach, something else. <laughs> Alright, this is what happens when you don't have a nap. So, we're going to end it right here, because I'm tired. And, I'm uh, not tired. I'm super hyper. Yeah, that, that happens when you don't have a nap. No, that happens because I'm here. All right. Have a good evening. Until next time, Royals. Thank you again. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining our channel. Take it easy. Peace.